guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very, very long-awaited and very anticipated video. You guys have asked me to do this video for a really long time and it's, it's time to do it. It's truly been a long time coming, as Taylor Swift would say. So I'm going to do a room tour for you guys today. This is my childhood bedroom. I've lived in this house since 2009. And this room has had so many memories. I've had Taylor's of posters absolutely covering every inch of this wall. I will put a picture on the screen for you guys. Um, I started filming videos in this room. This was the room that I would pull out my dad's old camera and I would, you know, stand about right here and I would prop my camera up on my dresser and I would just start dancing and singing along to Taylor or Megan and Liz and this was the room that I listened to so many albums in and so I've listened to every single Taylor Swift release that I've ever stayed up for so that that's absolutely insane like to think I remember when I heard look what you made me do for the first time sitting on my bed I remember the first time that I heard call it what you want and I was sitting on my bed and I remember when I came back from the red tour I had a huge animal net up at the time and I was sitting with my vlog camera and talking about my experience and there's just this room has so many memories I would watch award shows on this TV I edit videos in this bed and it's just it's so crazy to think how many memories I've made in this room. I sprung up from this bed when Taylor started posting weird stuff and it turned out it was folklore and then the same with Evermore and it's just absolutely crazy. I can remember running out of my room to my dad when Taylor would like my post and then tripping over a lamp. I remember running running upstairs and being like oh my god um, Taylor's team is trying to contact me because there's a, a present showing up from Taylor and there's just so many memories that I could go on and on about when I think about this room and my memories in this house. And I am so excited though to start a new chapter. And this video is going up on a very special day. You guys will find out soon. But I truly wanted to take the pictures in my mind and on video of my childhood room. So without further ado, Let's do a room tour. I'm going to start outside so you guys can see absolutely everything and I'm going to explain stuff and that's going to be this video. I am so, so excited to show you guys all my little decorations here and there and yeah, I'm, I'm excited to reorganize and have more space but this is what my room is right now and yeah, let's get into it. I have had this picture on my door, taped on my door, ever since the moment it happened in 2015. That has never come off my door, so that is the only thing I have on my door on the outside. But let's go ahead and go in. So this is my room, and you can see what it looks like when you enter. And so I guess I will start, let's see. I'll start on my door. So we just came in through the door and I have my Taylor calendar and I sometimes put my purse on that hook but I have another purse out right now so it's a little heavy so I'm trying to be careful with that but I usually hang my purse on this second command hook. Command hooks are the best thing to exist but I always have a Taylor calendar on my door. I have since the Speak Now calendar so it's always been there. And then if you go up this is actually a it's really nice. It's a canvas. I've always loved traveling and so my mom and I went out to a little area one time and we found this and she was like, okay, I'm going to get this for you for your room. And it just has like different little pictures and little significant things about each state. So like Mount Rushmore's on there and like you can see where Washington DC is on the map and like the Statue of Liberty. And so I have it above my door. Then over here I have another command hook and I have a Bigfoot Squishmallow and I have the Eyes Closed Monster from Ed Sheeran. I got it at his show. This is a clock that I have had since like the beginning. Like look how old that picture of Taylor is. It's never moved from that spot. 
Um, this is an intercom system. I don't touch that. We don't use it. So. Um, and then these are my switches. This one is for my wallflower. This one's my light. And should I have that light on? Probably. Um, and then this one is my ceiling fan. And these little marks, you may ask, well, that's when I had foam letters on my wall. And I've tried to get it off, and I will tr continue to try and get it off, but, you know. Um, then I have my red autograph from the Red Tour when they didn't have the Red Tour books yet. Taylor would sign autographs of the Red booklet, and they were at the merch stand. Then I have my lover autograph right there. I have... I have my prized possession of a shadow box, and this was the shadow box that I put together after I met Taylor. These are, well, this is my wristband, and I actually have, actually, this is my dad's wristband, because my wristband was actually able to slip off, so I put it in, like, a little photo frame. That's, that's away in my Taylor area, which you'll see, but me reading the meet and greet letter, me smiling, our picture, how we get our pictures. I wore these earrings to meet her, confetti, and then my meet and greet letter. And then I just have the 1989 World Tour lanyard dangling from it. And then below it, I have a frame. This was the autograph that we got when we met her. And I just put it in a bigger frame, and then this is actually some of the wrapping paper. I matted it with the wrapping paper that Taylor had sent me presents with. And I kept all the paper. That box is in a huge box in my closet. I will never get rid of that FedEx box. Okay, <laughs> scooting over, I have my letter from Taylor, my envelope from Taylor, my letter from Taylor because this is near my bed, and so, of course, I want it near my bed so I can see it. And then down below, I just have printed a, a couple things. Um, so this one is when she noticed me and reblogged me for noticing an Easter egg during the Lover era, and this was when she told me what lipstick she was wearing, which I literally had to pause when I said that. Like, it's so weird to even say that, but I have those printed, and they're just on my wall. This is kind of like my Taylor memory wall. And I have on the floor right here, I have a goodnight Squishmallow, and then I have um, just my laptop bag with my laptop charging, so it's easy for me to grab and edit, or at night, or if I'm eating, I can just go ahead and grab my laptop really quick. And so, yeah, that's where she sits right now. Then I will stand up again to show you. These are my notes from Taylor, all the note tags that she wrote on all my little gifts, which sounds so weird to say, like it will never feel real. Um, I have them in the shadow box. I remember I this was a project, and so they're safely in there, and that's where I like them to be. And so, like I said, this is kind of my memory wall. And then I have, of course, my Taylor meet and greet photos. I love them. And then down here, I have when Taylor noticed me when she was Taylor King for 1989, and she tweeted my selfie with the lyrics, and I know for you, it's always me. And of course, I framed it. It's been framed ever since. And then up there, I have my Red Tour poster and my Speak Now poster that came in the tour books. We need an Eras tour book. Then I have four of the 1989 VIP posters down here, um, just along my wall. And I was not VIP for 1989, but I found a package online, and so I bought it because I felt VIP because I met Taylor, so I wanted all the little things. Anyways, I have the sign that says, Being Happy Never Goes Out of Style. And then down here... I'm going to be doing something different, but I am so in love with this right now. But I, the sign and like with all my ticket, my Taylor tickets down below is like everything. So I have all my Taylor tickets. I've actually had a couple reprinted. Like I got this one on Etsy, this one on Etsy, just so they don't fade. I have the originals in a little concert ticket box just because I hated for them to like think about fading, you know, from the sunlight or whatever. So that is where those are right now, but all the others are the originals. Like, I've got, you know, Jingle jingle Ball, and, like, I even printed my Rep Tour, like, little screenshot of my tickets, and um, 
yeah, just rep tour, and I have a piece of confetti, me and Emma, and then F1 is back there, but yeah, and then my like floor wristbands and stuff like that. So then below this, I have two pieces of blue and yellow confetti to represent Dancing With Our Hands Tied, and this is when she liked my post about how much I love Dancing With Our Hands Tied, and I just stuck it on my wall because I'm a Dancing With Our Hands Tied stan. Then right below it, I have this picture of Taylor seeing me at Barricade and smiling and oh my god, how is that picture real? You'll hear me say that. So then down here, I have my Polaroid from Taylor and then I have my candle from Taylor, which is so weird and that's first thing I see when I wake up. I have my water bottle. Those are just things to donate over here, <laughs> um, but I have, there's kind of like miscellaneous stuff like I have lotion, a little pencil. A straw just by my bed because I'm guilty of eating in my room and then I have this little candy jar and it has lollipops in there I got this at Target time to repaint her ignore her she, she'll look prettier in a little bit but I do love this nightstand um, I have my remote then we have my bed now my <laughs> my bed I have my Bigfoot he is very squished because I do sleep on him my London bus from Taylor this bear is actually from my grandma. I will never get rid of him. He's huge, but he does reside on my bed. Um, and then I have my red tour pillows over here. This bear, he holds my neck pillow. I got him at the M&M store in New York City when my mom and I went. And then I just fold my blankets at the end of my bed. I am the person who sleeps with like 10,000 blankets on her. So... I have some blankets right here and then I have it just tops um, I have my dragon that I have matching with my best friend Emma I got it when I saw her in Maryland and it just reminds me to speak now so yeah I have an heiress to her blanket and folklore blanket and then just a couple other blankets and then that blanket over there is for my kitty cat and she that is her blanket um, she does not like when I move it but that is hers so now if we're in the center of my room, like above my bed, you'll see I have, uh, I am not one to change my posters out, if you can tell, but I have not in a really long time. That's a twist poster. And then all of these are from the Reputation magazine. And then I have my Selena Rare autograph. And then this autograph is from the 1989 era. And then I have all of my Reputation Stadium Tour posters. And then over here, if we back this out, I have my cat's tower. She loves sleeping in this tower. Sometimes she doesn't. She kind of prefers her blanket, but um, if the sun's hitting it, she'll get in that tower. And then, as you can tell, I have a bunch of Squishmallows. I've actually downsized, if you can believe that. But my mom made this after Formula One for me. And then this is gorgeous. I love this lithograph so, so, so much. It is the Willow lithograph and I framed it in this white frame and it's just like, it's such my aesthetic. Like I am in love with it. Then up here, I just have a little jellyfish from Myrtle Beach. And then along my window, I am obsessed with these, you guys. I think I got them at Target. They just dangle like this, but they're little mirror balls. What's a disco ball? It's a mirror ball. <laughs> and I just have them hung with command strips by my windows. They have like a hook on them and they just dangle and I love it so much. It just, sometimes the sun hits it and it's absolutely like stunning. Um, but yeah. And over here I have my delicate lithograph that is hand numbered and I got this when the delicate music video came out and the centerpiece of the room. What would my room be without a huge picture of me and Taylor Swift? Nothing. So there she is. Um, my dad had this one done and it's a canvas and I'm in love with it. Okay. Like it, she will always have a spot on my wall. No matter where I am, that woman will always have the first spot on my wall. This picture right here. I will be 80, and if somebody comes in my home, this will be a picture on my wall, okay? Down here, it's really interesting. I have a wallflower, and I have my vinyl plugged in. Then down here by my record player, I have my CDs and some like fun little bracelets from what I've seen some artists. 
Then a couple programs that I've we got when I saw artists like Josh Groban at the Radio City Music Hall. This little stand with a couple of little books. That's one of Taylor's favorites. She wrote Tolerate It based off of it. And then I have some more stuffed animals. Who is shocked? Um, a lot of these are stuffed animals that I have collected when I've gone different places like New York City and Nashville, New York City, <laughs> New York City, New York City. Yeah, can you see a trend here? But then I have some seasonal ones over here, just like, you know, just some little fruit. And then down here is just like a storage container. So we went this way, but like I said, I have, I have my Squishmallows over here. And like I said, I used to have a lot more. And if you can believe it, they've been downsized. But also over there, I have like a little storage thing underneath. So I'm big on storage, so that's a good thing. Then I have my tripod with my light, and then I have an Eras Tour shirt hanging off of it because I will say this, this tripod's multi-use, and sometimes when I have stuff that I don't want to put in the dryer, I'll hang it on there to dry. Don't tell anyone. That's my secret. It's not the best thing, but it works, so there you go. Then I have my record player and I have my little Midnight's coasters just spread out and I got this at a little shop in Raleigh called Enchanted on Main and Titanic has to have a feature obviously it's my favorite movie and like I said just have my record player and then also on these windows I have the little mirror balls and then over here I have some, these are actually wooden roses and my dad gave them to me one year for Valentine's Day, which I thought was really sweet. And he also thought he was hilarious um, to get me this cactus as a joke, a little room decor, because one time, well, when we went out to Arizona for the Reputation Stadium tour, I fell into a cactus because I was trying to pose and I was an idiot. And so that's his favorite story. So... There you go. It's an inside joke. So then over here, I have <laughs> I have guitar hooks, okay? And all behind here is clothing pieces that I've worn to tour. And so I have, I started this little trend when I went to the rep tour. So that's what I wore rep opening night and then like to DC. Here's my skirt I wore to Arlington. My delicate dress is somewhere back there. I wore this to Jingle Ball. Um, these are all my Eras Tour outfits. Like, this is where they go. They're kind of just like on display. This shirt took me way too long just not to like shove in my closet. Like, I felt like I had to hang her up for a little bit. I do have my guitar back there. It has a broken string. Um, it's really, really old. And so, but I still do care about it. So, I still do have it on my wall, but I kind of put a couple things against it in hopes to maybe protect it a little bit. But I do have my Taylor tote bags hanging on the same hook. Then I have a London, England sign because dream destination. Then I have this chair and I just have a little blanket that matches my lover pillow. And oh my God, who's that on my pillow? me and Taylor Swift, my Taylor bear, and a little mirror ball from five below. Then I have this crate off to the side and it has all my vinyls in it. And then along this window is just little tchotchkes. I drew those. I drew this with my best friend during the pandemic and I just thought it was funny. So this is kind of like my area where it could improve, but you know, um, and then that is actually from my, when my grandpa was in the military and I got gifted that after he passed away and just another Taylor mug, just a little board. Um, and so over here is where I keep all of my Taylor stuff for the most part, you know, that's not t-shirts or hoodies or anything like that. Um, and then all, like all down here, um, is Taylor stuff organized like CDs and, cups and magazines and coaster boxes like I'm not one to throw boxes away um little books my batons like you can just see like everything is just in there these are autographed cds that I don't have framed yet um so yeah there's a bunch in there and then just sitting in front of it I have my Taylor boots that I that I painted because 
I'm proud of them. <laughs> and so they kind of just, they kind of just sit here. And over here, I just have a couple posters that I haven't hung and I cannot wait to hang that Vogue poster up because that is my favorite picture of Taylor. And then just hanging from here, I have my New York tote bag. It's always good to have a tote bag ready to go. So if I ever get any coins, I just put my coins in here and then Taylor tour fund. Um, this is actually a book that I got recently from my friend Bailey and I love looking into it and reading it and just writing in it because um, it's like themed, it's like a journal but it's themed on music so it's right up my alley. Then I, I have my giant basket of friendship bracelet making things. Very important. Then along here, I have little notes that my mom wrote me, and I have some concert tickets also hanging up. And then over here, I just have some electronic stuff, and then I have, you know, just like tape and pens and pencils and that kind of stuff, notes. Those are my Squishmallow tags. This is kind of like just a little miscellaneous bin where I kind of, if I have a return or like an empty box or something, that kind of just goes here. Um, that's a return. So anything that I need to like, just kind of put here, I put here as bad as that sounds. But then along here, I have some of my favorite movies and while I obviously have not, um, changed those out in a while, but yeah, that's where they sit. And along here, I just have, so in this cup, I have these little tiny mini Disney characters that I used to collect in the pandemic with my mom. And then I have a empty cup that I never used at my favorite coffee shop in New York City. And so I asked them for a, a, an extra cup and so it just sits out. And I think I'll always use it for decoration just because I think it's really cute. Then I have Rachel Green and Ed Sheeran and then just like some keychains and stuff back there from like little trips. And then over here I have my Taylor perfume collection and I have my Wonderstruck and my Taylor fragrances and just, they're all there. They are all there. I can promise you that. And then over here I have all my Taylor light up bracelets from her shows, a little Lorax Palm Pal because if it's Taylor Swift related I will buy it. Um, and then a London candle and a coconut sandalwood candle because people said it smelled kind of like a fragrance Taylor wears. So yeah, and then behind here, I have, I'm very particular. I want all the CDs that I bought first, like my first copy of Taylor's new album, I put here. So like that's my first Fearless copy. That's my first Speak Now copy all the way down to, of course, Speak Now Taylor's version. So, and then I have my rep patches kind of just on the side. And then up here, I have my TV, my sound bar, my, um, my Apple TV. And then I have a little friendship, it's like a plaque, and Emma gave this to me, and I love it just sitting there. I got a seagull because 1989, that was $3 at Target. And then I have a little lipstick jelly cat, a little latte, squishmallow, and this little espresso mug that I got from New York City, and a little pink globe. Then up here I have some posters because I love concerts. I have a Sam Hunt, Gwen Stefani, Grand Ole Opry, Carly Rae Jepsen, Kelsey Ballerini, my little picture with Carly Rae Jepsen. And then I have my... I have my Taylor Swift hat because I wear that hat all the time. It's not worth like putting away. And then I just have a couple Squishmallow keychains. And all of these are my Taylor necklaces. And then my other necklaces are separate on these hooks. And that's from my graduation. I have my little tassel and just my necklace. My mom bought me this and it's really, really cute. She just came running out. She was so excited to give that to me. And it had a graduation bear. So... Yeah, that's front and center. Graduating college is a big deal. So then I have my mirror. It looks so, so foggy on camera. Like why? It does not look like that in person. Oh, you know what? It's probably from the steam from the shower. Um, ignore that. We're just gonna, don't, don't look. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, then I have this autograph from Taylor. 
I shouldn't say from Taylor. My dad got this for me in Christmas, like during the Speak Now era. And then I have, hey, it's me, hi. I have my dresser and this is, let's see, I have my rings down here and my hair clips here, my little, my little peanut jelly cat, my Billie Eilish um, perfume, and then my picture with my mom and my I had a best day with you um, frame when we went to New York City and saw Josh Groban, truly one of the best days, and just a little couple tchotchke things. All my bracelets I've made <laughs> that I'm keeping for myself, just little clips, some heart glasses, a jewelry box that I have like my hair ties in, and little things like that. Um, these are from my friend, I just got them, so I laid them here, a couple stickers, my brush, it's a 10, interesting stuff. My hair tools, because um, I do my hair out here. And then up here I just have this little like wreath. I actually got that for St. Patrick's Day and I kind of just left it there because I kind of liked it. And then over here, this is an old Taylor by Taylor made by Starlight Box. And I have all of my Taylor like rubber bracelets in there. But I just have on top this little tray that my mom got me in New York City. And my dad actually made this for me. It's a resin little jewelry container. So I just have some jewelry in there. And just some little Taylor things. And me and Emma in New York City. Then I have four of the original Taylor 1989 Polaroids over here. By my blanket ladder. And then I just have Taylor hats. And then my Taylor cardigans are right there. And then I keep my seasonal blankets and I keep um, my Taylor blankets on here. So this dresser, I keep my pants in here. Then I have my t-shirts in here. And then down there, I have all of my Taylor t-shirts. Yeah. And this bear and a cardigan, he just sits there. Um, over here though, I have my photo wall and it's just a bunch of Polaroids that I've taken over the years and I just stuck there. And this is a gorgeous picture of Taylor that I got off her website and my mom nicely framed for me. And then I just have some photo strips over here. <laughs> oh man. Um, my mom and I and my dad when we went to Boston. So this is just like a nice photo wall that I've created. And a travel awaits because it does indeed. Then I have my trash can. I have this three tier, I have all of my perfumes, and then I have some headbands dangling off of it. This Tom Ford bag holds Santel Blush, which is a perfume Taylor wears, and I just, I got it when I went to New York City last year with my mom, and I just, I, I can't bring myself to like discard the bag, so it just sits there, and I rarely use it, so it does sit there. Then I have my lotions and all of my scrunchies, my headbands, and then just some like extra boxes and like a lint roller, kind of stuff like that. This is my cat's toy. Then if you come over here, I have when I met Sabrina Carpenter with my mom and my best friend. And so yeah, there's me hugging Sabrina and my little autograph. And then a Kelsey poster up there. And then this is my closet. It slides out and I have like my hoodies and stuff on this side. And then down here I have all of my Taylor crew necks and like hoodies. Oh, it's, it's the FedEx box. I was not kidding you guys. And then I have all my Taylor pajamas like rolled up in there. Now this is actually where I film. So if you guys ever see me filming, I sit, I pull that little step stool out and I sit right here, but I just have a Taylor reputation lithograph, a Titanic poster, and just some little pictures here and there, like, you know, I kind of extended my photo wall. This, oh my God, before anybody comments about it, this was something I stuck on my wall when I was like nine and I, yeah, it'll come off. See, it comes off but I just got to work at it. But like, why, why did I think that was like a cute decor piece? You know, anyways. So yeah. <laughs> Help. And then over here, I just have 
my clothes and then down here like my suitcase and stuff like that so yeah okay and then so that's facing my room this way I have like a little hallway pretty much and so then this is Taylor from DSW and they let me take this home and uh, my mom surprised me with this one day and she was sitting in my room so boop then I back here I just have a couple of Taylor posters that I haven't hung up and I have a printed one of me and Taylor and then this was actually from my mom she got me a huge huge canvas from the speak now world tour um, she found it so yeah these are my Eras Tour posters that I have not done anything with yet. That's pending. <laughs> and then I have some little note cards and just little tchotchkes right here. And this is from the Rep Magazines. It says, is this the end of all the endings? And Taylor actually watercolored that and they put it in the magazines. All I need is lattes and lipstick. How true. And then this is just like a little piece like that has socks and stuff like that in it. Then here's my bathroom. Um, above my bathroom, I have my little fearless piece and I love that so much. My mom got that for me and she, she had it balancing up there. So, you know, we, we pray she stays, but she's done, she's done good all these years. So she'll stay. So if you back up this way, like I said, I have this little hallway in my room and so there's my bathroom. So if we go this way, I just have all my purses, my tote bags, everything is hanging up here. And then above my door, I have a little fearless sign. It is so, so, so cute. And here's my bathroom. Here's my shower curtain. It has little water drops on it. And then over here, I have a sign from my dad that says my daughter is my priceless treasure. And these two signs, my towel and emma got me this she thought she was the funniest person ever it's a bath bomb and it says it's not you it's me it smells like you seriously it's you she thought she was so funny then i have my little repu reputation the eras tour <laughs> tote bag makeup bag i can't speak i like my mouth is dry i need i need the biggest sip of water after this <laughs> um but then over here I just have all my makeup, my makeup brushes, my lotion, me, my hamper, aren't you guys glad to see my hamper, my shower cap, um, some like face masks and I also have some like hair masks in here and then over here, wow the lighting is not good, um, I just have some lotions and then if you close my door surprise more tote bags and then I also have my robe a little mirror here hey <laughs> and so yeah then down here I just have storage stuff you know how it goes in bathrooms my toothbrush a bow that I desperately got for the Eras tour and I never wore 2024 I'm looking at you then I just have these little notes up here. They're like notes of inspiration. And I have this little green leprechaun that my mom gave me and I just never took it down because I'm a sentimental person. I just have some extra little makeup palettes over here. Two little bath bombs, my setting spray. This is like a deeper lotion and I absolutely love this. This is really good after a shower. And then I just have a little Disney sign over here. And then I have, in case of fire, exit before putting on social media sign because I thought that was so funny when I put it up and I've just never taken it down. I got this little three tier thing at Home Goods, I believe. And I just have some like makeup wipes and like little tchotchke kind of things, my gummies um, that I take every day. It's like good for your immune system. Um, just like my stuff for my face like that is like a face it pulls out your it pulls out blackheads and stuff I'm really giving you guys the tour here um, this is like a deep cleaning toothpaste and wow yeah my cough medicine my ibuprofen yeah just like some room spray I've got some pore strips my deodorant just you know everything that you can imagine then I have score from finding Nemo so yeah 
there you go. There's my room tour. Um, I, oh yeah, like I said, right here is where I sit. We'll just take a seat and we'll outro the vlog here. But yeah, this room has so many memories in it and I am so grateful for every single one of those memories. Like I said, I can remember during the Speak Now era when I had no friends, I wanted to celebrate my love for Taylor, but I didn't know how. I grabbed a camera and it's just so crazy to think all those home videos later inspired me to keep creating and keep creating in this room and I will never forget like all the Taylor releases that I've celebrated in this room and all the gas of excitement that I've had in this room from from award shows to Taylor liking my posts to um, like I said staying up till midnight to listen to releases and Every moment is so special and I'm such a sentimental person. Like I am very, very much the person who finds so much enjoyment in life by being sentimental and so much enjoyment in life by documenting things. So thank you guys so much for caring about my life. Thank you guys so much for letting me document my life and I cannot say this strongly enough. The chapters ahead, next chapter, as Taylor Swift would say, is going to be a really, really, really special one. And so I really wanted to make sure that I, for myself, made a little room tour to close out this chapter in my life to show you guys because you guys have been asking. Usually when I film right here, I open the blinds. So we'll, we'll make it more... See, I do like this little number, so it's not so dark, but, um, but yeah, you guys, like, it's just truly so special, and thank you for allowing me to document my life and share my life with you guys and be excited with you guys, because that little girl that used to film by herself, all those little home videos during the Speak Now era, during the Red era, she made friends. Wow, I'm getting emotional. And then during 1989, I made even more friends and I, I got the biggest thing that I had ever wished for was a hug from Taylor Swift. And I would sit in this room and think of things to tell her and she would go online and like those things. Like, and then, you know, the Reputation Stadium tour and I got the opportunity to go with so many of my friends and like... I'll never forget hearing the old Taylor can't come to the phone right now. Why? Oh, because she's dead. Like, in in this room, in my bed. And it's just so special to think that, like, like folklore when it came out. Like, we had no idea what was going to happen with the pandemic. And it was such an, a time of, like, uncertainty. And it was so crazy to wake up. In this room the same room that I woke up to get up early to go to the red tour for I I sprung up with that news from folklore and evermore a surprise album and I sat in this room listening to her say oh you know I'll tell you more at midnight when she was on the VMAs last year and if I had told little Rachel from the Speak Now era, the original Speak Now era, that all her dreams came true. She has friends that love Taylor just like her. Um, it really, really, she wouldn't believe it, but I know she'd be so happy. So thank you for every moment that you've allowed me to create for you in this room. And I promise that it's not going to stop here, but it's just going to be in a different location. And that will be the very next video that you guys find out about what exactly I mean by that. Wow. Um, I'm emotional, but I am just, I'm so excited for a new chapter, but I'm so, so, so grateful to be able to reflect on these moments and all the memories that I've made in this room like if I really really think about it like it's so crazy to think 
that every inch of this wall used to be absolutely covered in Taylor stuff. And then, you know, posters would fade and I'd take it down and then I would reorganize stuff and it's just, wow. It is so crazy. It is so crazy to think about all the memories. But yeah, we'll continue to make more. That's an absolute promise. My shirt's so accurate, too soft for all of it indeed. But I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so, so, so much for wanting this video and wanting to see my world where I live in. And I, uh, all I can say is next chapter. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video entertained you in some way. And I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you in the next one. Bye, guys.